Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me just talking to you guys and having a bit of a discussion about some of the upcoming games for this year that I am the most ex excited and hyped for. It's coming up to Christmas, so of course that means all the good games are been gonna be released now as of course Christmas is coming up and I honestly hate like the first like three quarters of the year because it's like such a games drought but finally all the games I've been waiting for are coming out which is also kind of annoying because like games are so expensive these days and they're like 50 pounds each so like RIP my bank balance as well but yes I have quite a little list to go through so let's get started first game which is actually the first two games I think by the time I upload this a couple of these or a few of these will already be out but I just wanted to talk about them anyway the first game I'm going to be talking about is Dangen Romper 3 or v3 killing harmony this is what well, has already been raised on their playstation 4 and their ps vita last week it's another installment in the dangan romper series and if you don't know there are also two other games um trigger happy havoc and dangan romper 2 which will also and have also been released i have the like info on my phone because i can't remember anything off the top of my head and i just start blubbering and i don't make any sense it's far easier if i just read it from here Danganronpa V3 is just like the first two Danganronpa games and it's split into the school life part of the game and also they have the class trials which is like the biggest gameplay sort of factor of the games and during the school life part the players just interact with the other characters and you follow through the story but in the class trials you have to progress through trials and you have to figure out who's like committed the murder um through in interrogating other characters and like listening to um it's just very very like it's literally carried out like a trial as the name of it suggests and like always the trials also include the non-stop debates where you have to kind of like interrogate other characters and you can use light um light bullets and you can break the conversation with a false counter and also it says returning from Duncan Romper 2 which was goodbye despair are rebutal I can't read that word rebutal showdowns in which the player must debate with a specific character in order to reach a contradiction and I'm trying not to read too ahead because I don't want to spoil any of the plot for myself but V3 says adds a new gameplay element called mass panic debates and they involve multiple characters talking over each other and making it hard to find the correct statement wow that's i've heard this game is quite challenging so i'm interested to see how that plays out in the game itself i am very excited to get a new installment in, in the dangan romper series as ultra despair girls did come out and i did get that recently but it's like a side um, spin-off game and it's actually like a first person shooter like it's not anything like the other two main Dangan Romper games. So yep, I'm hopefully going to get that soon. I did try to go down to my local games to get it, but they don't ever stock games on the Vita. Why? It's so frustrating. So I'm going to have to alter that off a third party website. But yeah, if you're into like um, any style of like anime or Japanese like um, role playing games or like visual novels or anything like that, you, then you'll definitely be interested in like Dangan Romper V3. Now the next game that I am excited for is actually coming out tomorrow as when I'm filming this which is Wednesday October 4th and that is a game coming to Switch and that is Stardew Valley. I've been waiting for this for ages and literally about two days ago they just announced it was coming to Switch um, tomorrow so yay. I didn't really know if it was going to come out this year or not. I am a massive lover of course Harvest Moon and Animal Crossing. They are like the most relaxing and tranquil games ever. And I do have like a laptop, but I'm not really into PC gaming that much. And I much prefer playing it on handheld. So of course, I thought it would be amazing on my Switch. It would be a great game to take out and play with me when I'm on the go and traveling. And it's gonna cost 10 pounds. Of course, it's just a small indie game. It's like not a huge major Nintendo production game. So it's not that expensive at all, which I'm very, very pleased about. Stardew Valley is just a country lifestyle farming life RPG game. And I think the main plot goes that you get like handed down your grandpa's old farm and you basically just have to kind of like build it up from the ground and you just go about your daily life, like collecting all your, all of your resources and tools and just build, building up your farm and also bu building up your relationships with everyone else in your town and just like sort of starting up your new life from there 
so i'm really excited to get into that game the graphics are quite different from any other like game i've played in that style it's really really cute and also I re i've heard a lot of the soundtrack and it's such it's so relaxing so i'm definitely going to enjoy playing this game at night a lot so yes i'm excited to go home to my parents and download stardew valley tomorrow the next game i am pretty excited for which actually is coming out this friday and it's a game on the 3ds and that is the new lady layton puzzle game now i'm a long time lover of the professor layton series and it's been over for quite a few years now although saying that they've just announced that there's a new professor layton game coming out next summer which i honestly wanted to cry about but yes, yeah, so Lady Layton is coming out on Friday on the 3DS. It's going to cost around £35, I believe, which is like the standard um, retail price for most new 3DS games. Now, this isn't your usual entry into the Professor Layton series, as of course the full name of the game is um, either Layton's Mystery Journey or Layton's Mystery Journey, Catrail and the Millionaire's Conspiracy. It's a pretty long title, but it basically follows the story of P Professor Layton's daughter and like her journey into kind of like the puzzle solving world. So it's basically going to be the same gameplay style I imagine, but instead it's going to star his daughter, Katriel, instead. And yeah, it's going to be really interesting to play it from a different character's point of view. I enjoyed playing the Professor Layton games mainly for, of course, the puzzle solving side of it. I'm very into that and I thought I would like to think I became some sort of a pro by the time I came to the end of the series. So I feel like I'm going to be a bit rusty, but it's going to be interesting to see all the new puzzles they've come up with. Also, I really enjoy the cutscenes and like the art style is very, very unique. It's like none it's like no other game and I really love the voice acting I'm very into voice acting in games hence why I like games like Persona and a lot of like JRPG and visual novel games so yep that is coming out this Friday so I'm pretty hyped for that I will also try to link down below any trailers I can come across for these games so if you are interested and you would like to find out more about these games as I realise I'm probably not the best person to explain them all and also I'd be here all day if I was going to like go into full depth about them all then you can go and watch the trailers for yourselves the next game coming out on November the 17th which most of you will I hope are excited for and that is Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon now I'm still kind of on the fence of how I feel about these like it's Pokemon of course like that's my whole life so I'm I want to be excited but for some reason I'm just not as hyped as I was for Sun and Moon which is going to be also I'm really sorry about the screen I think the school kids are on their lunch break and I've been waiting for ages hoping they were great but they haven't yet so excuse that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon we've really not heard that much information about them we've had a few trailers like we got two new Ultra Beasts revealed to us one that's literally a brick wall and one that looks like a cake pop so <laughs> To be honest, I wasn't really a fan of the whole Ultra Beast from the start. They're a cool concept, but their designs are a little bit on the unusual side, which um, I get that is like the whole concept, but I don't know. I'm not a massive lover of them. And we did get a new form for Lycan Rock, the Dusk form, which I actually really, really like, but we've not had like any new Alolan forms or anything else new along the lines of that, really. And I think a lot of us expected that because these aren't obviously like whole obviously they're remakes in the sense that there's going to be a different plot and different characters and that sort of things and some different features they did show in the latest trailer that there's a cool like um trainer like a photo feature and also something where you can like surf on man time which i was pretty hyped for but i don't know if ever, everyone else is but i get excited about small things like that as of making this video I did see on Twitter that there is actually going to be some new gameplay being shown tomorrow so I'm excited to see what the hell that is going to be because we still don't really know anything about the plot of the games like we're all pretty in the dark still like we've obviously had a few trailers here and there showing a few new features but nothing major so I think that probably has contributed to a big reason why I'm not that it, like excited for it but it's Pokemon so i know it's still gonna be amazing but yeah tell me in the comments which one that you are pre-ordering i'm definitely going with ultra moon as moons and i did get moon and also tell me which starter you're planning to pick i'm definitely still going to pick i picked poplio so 
I might go lit and just to be different, but we shall see. The next game that I wanted to talk about is New Star Boutique 3, which is coming out on the 3DS on November the 24th. This was actually revealed in the latest Nintendo Direct that aired about a couple of weeks ago now, I think. But yeah, I really didn't expect this at all. The only reason I'm mentioning this game is I think a lot of you guys are are a lover of this series. I know it's not like a major series or anything, but I really do enjoy this series. There have been, I'm trying to think, there was New Star Boutique on the DS and then there's been another two New Star Boutiques on the 3DS. So I was quite surprised that they were making a third one. You know, I'm interested to see what kind of new features they're going to bring into this. But basically... Um, like all of the new Star Boutique games, you're basically running your own boutique and you can like customise it and you can sort of choose what kinds of styles that you stock in your stock room and you can help out customers. In the last one you could also help out customers with their hairstyles and their makeup and you could also end up designing your own clothes which is a pretty exciting feature. One reason why I do love these games is that they have a lot of different brands included including like Lolita Browns which is pretty awesome. And I don't think too much has been revealed about this game yet because we only saw a very like small trailer. So I'm hoping we do get some more trailers in the next month or so. On the N N Nintendo website, it literally just says become a top stylist and work with stars to be. Oh yeah, that's like the main theme of this one, like styling star. You can like work with different clients and help sort of style like um, ce celebrities as such. Which lip will they rock for their on-stage debut? It's up to you. Choose from over 20,000 new and returning fashion items. There's much more to discover. So yeah, I'm interested to see where they're going to be going with this game. And one other game I wanted to briefly mention is Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom now. I thought this was going to be coming out at the end of this year. They said like November and I don't actually own a PS4 myself but um, my boyfriend is definitely going to get it and we are both quite excited for this game but it's actually not, not coming out to it says the 19th of January so we have quite a while to wait yet and the like big special edition looked pretty epic but yeah this is a level 5 produced and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment um, RPG and this is basically the sequel to the first game which was Nino Kuni the White Witch and um, it's being made by the same dream team of the X Studio Ghibli staff yeah if you've played Ni Nino Kuni well known you'll know like the art style is very Ghibli like which is what attracted me to that game a lot I will get a PS4 one day because I'm still dying to play Persona 5 but um yeah, there's really still not much information about it. There is a special edition which you can order called the King's Edition for £140 that has the copy of the game, the making of the game, a still book, a season pass, and an art book and a big statue. I would get that if I had a PS4, but again, I don't. And I don't know if my boyfriend's going to want to buy that. But yeah, Nino Tony 2, I'm excited for that. And it will be a really nice game to start the year off with. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Those are all the games I am excited to play at the end of this year and at the beginning of next year. Tell me down below in the comments which games you are excited to be getting and which ones will be on your Christmas list. I know it's probably too early to mention Christmas but like don't shoot me please. <laughs> Other than that don't forget to subscribe before you go. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!